What's up, guys? What's going on? It's your boy here, Ryan. Ride Beats. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. guys it is um yeah today is the day we put some stuff together i'm not gonna say it. we're gonna put some stuff together so um we got our little horse here our little saw horse i'm gonna put you right here bada bing bada boom all right so I did, whoops, sorry. I did buy wood. Um, I got, the dude messed up. So I bought this wood at Home Depot. Um, it's a quarter inch, I believe. And I got it cut. You guys can see that I got it cut. Uh, he said he'll cut it for free. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, whatever, whatever. So I cut it um, 15 inches. And then I just cut the other board in half. He said it was $13 rang up it was like $22 <clears throat> whatever whatever so this is the base that we're going to be using for the press for the press I'm going to show you guys so basically the press is going to bolt onto this thing I just realized those holes are small the holes are small It was aluminum, right? I could probably make it bigger. I think I'm gonna do that. I'd rather have it bigger anyway. Because uh, the screws I got. The machine crew uh, screws are. What are we doing here? I got one inch. Wait a minute. Yeah, they're quarter inch. They're quarter inch. Quarter inch screws. Sorry. That's... So, yeah, the machine screws I got are um, quarter inch. Um, that's we're gonna bolt onto um, the board here so like I said it's this is gonna be mounted onto the um, the press there and then screwed onto this like so like that all right all right so first things first is um, Let's screw on the um, the base to the press. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Let's well let's let's figure out this screw issue that we're having. Let's figure this out. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but put this thing out of the way. E. Should be good. Yippee. Shaving, 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 shaving. Well, that's basically how it's gonna look like. Uh, what I'll do is um, I'll bolt this down here first. And then, um, actually no, I'm gonna bolt the, screw the, uh, the plank onto the thing so it won't be moving around. And then this to this, yeah. I think that should be done. I got three in the back and two in the front. I don't think I need to put anything on the inside. Maybe I will, I don't know. But now we're gonna drill um, the holes for bolts. Well, you know what, let me measure it, let me measure it. Done, 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 done. So this is it. 
it's gonna look like. So, what we gotta do now, it's a little dirty. Looks good. It's crooked though, but it is what it is. Okay, so now we're going to put, um, the screens just came in actually there in this box. All right, so let's go ahead and do the off contact. If you're wondering, with this silver setup, this is your tilt right here. And this is your off contact on both sides. So first we're gonna fix the tilt because it is leaning and then uh, we'll do the off contact. Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering how I'm using, doing the off contact, measuring it, I have a cardboard here. This is about an eighth of an inch thick. That's what's pretty much what you want right there. There's a cardboard. Actually, this is a Amazon box. Less than an eighth of an inch right there. So, let me work on the off contact, guys, and then I'll be back. I think that's it. Only one little hurdle is that um, this is missing a, a lock nut. A lock nut under there. I had one, but it's not the shallowest, the regular size, so it's actually... You guys can see it's bulging out like that. This one is just the shallow one. See how it's shallow? So I just gotta get a replacement on that one. I totally forgot I lost that thing. So... This is the only head that is not... Um, leveled or not... Um, not fixed for... For the... Uh, um, what are we, what are we talking about here? Oh, it's not, um, the off contact is not set or anything like that. So this is the only one I got to work on. I got to get nut or uh, a locking lock washer for that. So that'll take care of that. Now let's move on to this thing. Like I said, I was going to build a little shelf here for drying. So I'm going to show you guys what we, what we came up with. Okay, what we came up with. Let me put you guys down here. All right. Um, where is it? Well, this is what we have. If you guys are wondering what I'm using, this is a uh, an O clamp. What you do is uh, you put like a light or something like that on the bottom here, and you clamp it on your trussing, your trussing system, for like you know um, stage clamping or stage lights or whatever it is. That's what I have this for. Use it for my DJ rig. Um, what else do we have? We have this L bracket. It's a plastic cover, but I'll take that off. This is just an L bracket for like, um, if you wanna put shelves on the wall and around the house. Why can I not take this thing off? It's a plastic cover. Don't need it, but this is what we want. And I got this little baking it's cookies so if you guys uh want to cool down cookies from the oven you should get one of these so this is what we're gonna do this is um what size is this this is a 10 by 16 so it's gonna be perfect perfect okay what we're gonna do is basically put this on the clamp like this and then like that all right so let's do it let's do it what we're gonna do is first um put a small hole here and then we'll use the uh, the step hole drill bit to make the hole bigger um as you guys can see this is a little smooth so if you guys ever try to drill something on smooth it's just gonna go all over the place so we got this device here we have this automatic center punch thing. So, mm, roughly around there, I guess. Okay. So what that does, it creates like a little divot. You guys can see that. So when you're drilling, it's not like going all over the place. So let me drill this hole real quick. Let me see, camera's still on? Okay, yeah, so there's our hole. Let's put this thing in there. Oh, you know, we gotta go one size. One more, one more down.
All right, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing here. We're back here at the heat press. So I'll put the gaffer's tape here, maybe a couple of, I don't know, twirly of the tape. So here's the clamp I was saying. So it's the O clamp. Right now I have it sitting rest to this um, thing here. I don't know what you call it, but just clamp it in. A couple of twists and turns. And that's it. Okay, I don't want it too tight. So ideally you print the shirt, right? There's the design, put the shirt on there like so, and then underneath, heat it up. That's the idea. That's the idea. See that motorcycle that just came by? He doesn't live around here. This area. I don't know why he has to come all the way down here. It's irritating. Yeah, if you guys are wondering why I'm using this grill thing, not just putting the flash on the board, on the platen, it's feasible, it's doable, but um, if you're talking about going to the shows and um, I'm curing fast, you will need something like this um, because you want the, uh, the heat to go through the shirt. You don't want to just sit around and it will eventually cure all the way through much faster but that's the idea anyway we'll see we'll see how it goes but i hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video hit the like button hit that thumbs up uh subscribe if you haven't done so and i'll see you guys in the next one keep grinding peace out